Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Christy and I am a reseller on Poshmark and Macari. Basically, I buy things that people usually pay top dollar for or they pay like regular price for and I find them for a good price and flip them online for a profit. I hope that made sense. But that's basically my, what my small business is. Um, I've been, I have been doing this since August of 2021 and I love doing it i love this job it is so fun to try to find treasures to resell um i haven't done a reselling content video it's been a while so i was thinking last night of what i should film and i decided to do my first ever what sold video so this is going to be going over the sales that i had in the month of march march was a weird month for a lot of people just because of the issues that's been happening with poshmark but thankfully, when I was looking last night, I actually made more money than I did in February. So I made more money in March than I did in February. So as long as I see that growth, I'm totally fine. Um, things have been kind of normal um, for me lately as far as sales, but we're not going to go into that. But what I was going to say is <laughs> this is basically covering sales that are over $25 just because if I uh, show things that were under $25 we're going to be sitting here for a while so this is what sold in the month of March for $25 and over most of the sales is going to be Poshmark but I do have two Macari sales that I would like to show you guys that was um, a pretty quick flip okay so the first sale that I would like to go over is this pair of Talbot um, calf hair like cheetah print looking loafer slip-ons um, i'm going to insert the, the pictures right here so you can kind of see what i'm talking about these sold for 30 dollars, and they sold pretty quickly when i when i found them in goodwill i kind of figured they would sell pretty quickly just because they're a very stylish looking shoe um, they were a, a leather upper and even though they were talbots which doesn't usually have the greatest resale value I would say if you find anything by Talbots as far as shoes and it's tr on trend like these shoes were, I would definitely pick it up. So yeah, uh, sold for $30 and I paid around six bucks or so for them. So really good flip and a really quick flip. Okay, so the next sale I would like to show you guys is this logo by Lori Goldstein. It was a purple shark bite sweater um and it was actually a cashmere blend this sold for 25 dollars um there was a slight bit of wash wear on it uh but uh because it was that cashmere blend it sold really quickly and i do like picking up logo by lori goldstein it is sold on qvc i believe um but mostly the ones that are um a larger size do better so even though this was pretty plain and it was just purple because of the cashmere blend and because of it being long line which just means that it's kind of like a longer length is the reason that i picked up put, picked it up and i'm glad i did because it was a quick flip and i wanted to say if you hear any noise uh my dogs are actually in here and they kind of make noise from time to time they're napping right beside me okay so the next sale I would like to show you guys is these Teo's metallic gray Mary Jane pumps. I do not know if I'm saying the name of this shoe brand uh, correctly, but Teo's is a comfort shoe brand and they are comfortable. I actually found a pair of sandals by them. Um, it's been months ago and they sold pretty quickly. I almost kept them for myself because they were in my size, but they were so comfy. So they sold for $28 which was great. Um, I was kind of looking to make between 25 to 30 bucks for them anyway. There was a slight bit of wear to the heel, but otherwise in great condition. This is definitely a, a shoe brand I would say to be on the lookout for. Of course, still look up the comps for them, but they did get a lot of attention because people like these for work and everything because they're comfortable. Okay, so the next sale um is these eileen fisher they're called the sport tumbled leather sandal they sold for 25 dollars. these were also a very comfortable shoe they were in my size an eight and a half almost kept them but i just didn't like the style that much but the actual straps were a very supple soft soft leather and they were just a very nice shoe the reason why i took the price of 25 dollars and not more uh, was because there was a slight bit of wear like around the shoe 
just from like you know just being worn and the bottom was pretty dirty i had tried to um get that cleaned up but it was still pretty stained so yeah 25 dollars i felt was very fair um and i was excited to sell these and excited to have these these were actually given to me i did not source these but eileen fisher is definitely a brand that i would say is a a go-to brand to find and to try to resell Honestly, I can tell I have not filmed a video in so long. I'm so rusty when it comes to talking in front of the camera right now. It is awkward, but we're gonna push through this. <laughs> the next pair of shoes, actually, it is a pair of shoes that I sold, was these pair of Vince black suede worn platform, like little slip-on shoes. They sold for $25. Again, Vince, great brand. It, it has a very high retail value, but the resale value is slightly lower um if these were would have been in excellent condition i probably would have got way more than 25 dollars. but because they had been worn there was a couple couple of spots on the shoe um yeah that 25 dollars. i'm very happy to get that uh anything platform is really in style right now so if you find platform sandals platform sneakers like these definitely look up comps because you might have found something that will sell pretty quickly these didn't sell extremely quickly but i didn't have them listed for too long maybe two months okay so the next sale was this bundle piece by the brand tasso elba um, it was two men's button-up shirts 100% linen. They had like a Hawaiian style to them. Uh, I sold them for $38 for both of them, which was actually a really good deal for whoever got this, but I was given, they were given to me. So of course I was going to take $38 for these. Um, if you see anything like Hawaiian style for men, I would say, um, look them up, especially the Hawaiian shirts. Cause you know, people go on vacation. They like to wear things like that. Of course they were hundred percent linen and they were a good brand. So yeah, I would say this type of shirt to be on the lookout for. Okay, so the next sale was this bundle piece uh, from Handa An Handa <laughs> Hannah Anderson. Um, someone had given me some children's clothing and there was three pairs of Hannah Anderson pajamas. Um, some of them weren't in the best condition. There was like a couple of stains and a little bit of peeling. So what I did was I just bundled them together. Hannah Anderson is definitely, I would say a bolo brand for children's clothing. If you find Hannah Anderson, I can't say it. Hannah Anderson clothing, I would definitely look it up to see what the comps are. So this bundle sold for $25, which I gladly accepted, especially because I didn't pay anything for these. So that was a really good flip. And they actually were pretty cute too. Very cute pajamas. There was like one with butterflies on it, one with unicorns and super soft and really good quality pajamas. Okay, so the next sale was this pair of Adidas uh, men's cleats. Uh, they were called the Afterburner 6 uh, in, the, in the color gold metal. <laughs> anyway, I found these. Actually, no, I did not find these. My husband found them when we were sourcing together a couple of months ago, and he brought them to, to me. He was like, they're basically brand new. What do you think they'll go for? And I was like, I have no idea about cleats, and I'm not really good with sneakers for resale. I don't know much about them, but I said, you know what? Let's give them a try. They were $10. We paid the $10 price at the Goodwill we were at. Things were pretty marked up, but I decided to go ahead and give it a chance and they sold for $35. Not as much as I was expecting them to sell for, but I was glad to see them go because they had been sitting for quite some time. And yeah, $35, I made like 28 bucks. So, you know, after you take the $10 off, I basically made 18. So would I pick these up again? I'm not sure, maybe, but yeah. Okay, so the next sale is this Calvin Klein maxi dress. Uh, this was also something that was given to me and it sold for $25. I was so glad to see this dress go. Calvin Klein isn't a brand that I would say to be on the lookout for. Although their stuff retails for really high prices, the resale value is just not there, but their dresses do well. 
and of course maxi dresses is very much in style during the springtime so of course this sold during the spring glad to see it go very good quality dress but it did it just didn't have any attention and you know some things are like that some things that you try to resell won't have any attention then out of nowhere somebody will buy it straight out you know like and pay full price for you know some things you just have to wait for the right buyer if that makes sense so so yeah i was glad to see this go last sale i wanted to show you guys on poshmark that sold um was these pair of johnny o um men's jeans these are called the marin i think that's how you say it performance pant cargo pant um johnny o pants for men is definitely a bolo i would say be on the lookout for johnny o um, with men's clothing um, it's like a performance wear. I, I believe they're kind of like golf pants. I could be so wrong about that. But if you find any Johnny O, look it up. Make sure the comps are there. But it, I had like two pairs of Johnny O pants for men for sale. And they have got so much attention. So these sold for $30. And the actual retail is pretty high. I think it's around 90 bucks. So... It, you know, people do look to the secondhand market to try to get a deal on them. So yeah, these were the last things to sell on Poshmark that I wanted to show you. And then the last two sales I would like to show you that um, sold for over $25 or $25 and over. The first one is these Crocs, um, like little jelly rainbow sandals. Um, they have like a certain name that I'm going to put right here. I don't know what the significance of that is, but y'all, these sold so quickly. I listed them for $25. Um, I had seen comps way higher, but they were a little worn and just like kind of dirty, even though I had tried to wash them. But they sold the very next morning. Like I listed them that night. And when I woke up, they had already sold for full price. So that is definitely, um, if you see the croc jelly sandals, pick them up. Because it's definitely a bolo type of thing. Be on the lookout for it, you know. Um, Crocs in general is kind of like be on the lookout. Uh, but I know that I've heard, it's, it's basically like certain... Um, certain looks certain styles and also sometimes they have like a, a what do they call collabs collabs with crocs so some of those collabs do really well and then the last sale i want to show you is this lily pulitzer striped open front cardigan this was just very basic i think it had a really good um if i'm not mistaken it was a pretty good like fabric makeup i could be wrong but I picked it up because it was Lily. I mean, Lily stuff does sell. Um, and it was super cute. And it did sell within like a week for $28, which was such a awesome flip. I was so excited for that just because it did have some wash wear to it, which of course I did note in the listing. So yeah, that was, I love finding Lily. When I find Lily, I feel like I found like, I don't know, like I found like a little treasure or something because... Lily is really hard to find in my area. So yeah, I'm really excited when I find Lily Pulitzer. So yeah, you guys, that is my what sold video. And I didn't say it the first, but if you're watching till the end, I thought I would do like a quick little update. What's been going on with me, where I've been. Um, and if you've stuck around to the end, that's what I'm going to do right now. <laughs> so basically, I haven't been on for a couple of weeks. Life kind of just happened and I've just been busy with some things. A couple of updates that I have that might be interesting to you guys is I did get chickens. Like, what was it? Two days ago. So excited. I've been wanting chickens. We had built a coop. Like, a my husband had built me, like, my dream chicken coop. Um, I might even throw in some pictures here. I don't know. I might keep that to myself. But I was... I was really excited to get chickens. I finally got some chickens. I did not want to do chicks because even though they're not very hard to take care of, I was kind of scared to have chicks, um, if I'm being honest. And my friend surprised me and gave me three of her hens, and I'm so thankful for them. Um, they are just so, so precious. I love them. So yeah, I have three little chickens outside right now, and I love them. They are so sweet. 
Um, so yeah, I got chickens, was trying to start a garden. That's kind of been a flop. Um, so I was kind of busy with that. Things happen in the Poshmark community that kind of had me like a little down, you guys. I'm not going to, I'm not going to lie. Like I was having like some doubts even about continuing this business just because there was so much talk going on about, um, you know, Poshmark sales going down. And I was just kind of like, do I even continue this? But I've prayed about it and I do feel to continue um, reselling and just continue doing what I've been doing, you know, put the work in and see the results. What surprised me last month was Macari. Macari definitely, I'm so glad that I have Macari now because I had some sales on Macari that, you know, really helped me as far as like my income. So, um, yeah, if you're still having trouble with your sales on Poshmark, I'm praying for you. I know it's been like stressful for a lot of resellers just because a lot of them, this is their full time income and for things to just like shift like they have and nothing be said, you know, it's, it's really sad, but you know what? We're going to keep working. We're going to keep putting the time in and I do feel like we will see the fruit of that labor that we put in. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know um, it's not like the ones I usually do. Hopefully I'll be doing like a little, um, there was a tractor going by. <laughs> Hopefully I will be doing a, um, what's the word? A haul video soon because I am in desperate need of things to list. I have went through my death pile and I don't have much to list right now. I need to go sourcing really bad. So hopefully I'll be doing a haul video shortly and I hope you guys are doing well. Leave your comments below. I love hearing from you and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.